Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a column picture effects. Basically, having columns or rectangles in the series and then having different pictures in those rectangles. So what I mean, this is what it's going to look like. So we have this column effect here. We have different rectangles, about five rectangles here, and each one of them is filled with a picture. So it gives a kind of a, a nice montage of pictures, and you probably have seen these in magazines or uh, on newspaper articles where they have columns and they put a single person in each one. So you can create this, this type of effect in PowerPoint. And also include showing you how to create this reflection effect. So let me go ahead and escape out of this. So now we have a blank sheet, and you may think that maybe we can just insert a rectangle. We go under the Insert tab, go to Shapes, and insert a rectangle, and then right click and go into Format Shape and find a picture. Let me go under the Picture Text and find a picture here to insert maybe this crane here, right? And then what I can do is close that and you have this picture. And you can just control C to copy, control V to paste, and just move it along and do another one. And just keep doing this until you get the amount of rectangles you want and adjust the, the gap in between. But you don't really need to do all that. You can actually just create a table and have those table cells fit this. And so when you move everything, it all moves as one. See, these are all different uh, shapes. And if you want to move the shapes, all together, you're going to have to select all the shapes together to move them. So that's one way we can do it, but there's another way that we can do it and also apply these effects on that whole shape as a whole. Let me go ahead and delete these two shapes and show you how that's done. So first, we're going to have to create a table. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a three column table, and I'm just going to use one row, so one a three by one table. Now when you initially create it, what it's going to do is it's going to create a header row. Uh, if you go under the Design tab, under the Table Tools Contextual menu, we're going to unselect that header row. And we're also going to unselect the banded row. We don't really need to have banded rows. It's just one row. Or you can actually just leave that checked because it doesn't really matter. We're just going to be using one row. What I can do now is I can pull this particular row longer. And I can make it a little bit higher now. So the height of this particular table, even though it's a 3 by one it's, it looks like it's a three rectangles. Let me go ahead and spread it out a little bit here and over here. And now we can start filling each of these cells with a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first cell, right click and go under Format Shape and, and select the Picture or, or Texture Fill and go under File and Find My Picture. I think it's already selected a picture for me here, but let's select another picture. Let's go and do the, the, the tree here and then click Insert, click Close. And let me go ahead and select this cell now and go right click Format Shape and I'm going to go ahead and select another picture. Let's go ahead and select uh, the picture of the kid. And one good thing to keep in mind is when you select your pictures, you probably want to select a picture that is more um, vertically long, not something that's horizontal. Because if you try to put that into here, it's going to be, um, it's going to kind of fit within this longer rectangle shape, and the shape's going to be distorted. So you probably want to source pictures that are longer rather than wider for this particular effect. So let me go ahead and insert this shape in there. Click close. Now I've got the kid in there. And let me go ahead and go in here and right click, go into format shape, and insert another picture that's more long than wide. And maybe I'll insert the, the crane. Maybe I'll insert the crane back in here and click insert and click close. So now we have a, a nice shape here. You notice that there's this little border line that separates it. So it's kind of already a, kind of a nice little white line that separates it out. And if I wanted to have that black background, I can just right click in the slide itself, go ahead and format background and select the, the, make sure the solid fill button is select and just select the uh, black color. Close and then now I've got my shape here. Now if I want to align this, I can actually just click on the, the table here and go under layout and align. I want to have it aligned center and also align middle. So it kind of like, kind of makes it a little bit nicer to view. And if, I had mentioned earlier, if you wanted to get that, sh that reflection effect, as long as you select this, you can go under design and go under effects here, and we can create a reflection effect. Now, the initial reflection effect, let me say I do something like this. What it's going to do, it's going to kind of elongate. It's a little bit too long, so we can actually modify that a bit. So if I go back into the effects here and go under reflection and go under reflection options, I can actually modify that. So I can make the size a little bit smaller. Let me go ahead and pull that in. Pull that in a little bit maybe over here. And also can make the distance be between the picture and the reflection greater. So let's say that we want the distance a little bit greater, right? 
and then maybe we can do the size maybe a little bit smaller maybe 10 percent and maybe we don't want it that clear maybe we want to blur it out a bit so maybe i'll make that a little bit blurry so it doesn't really show it too much it's not too detailed but so it has a kind of nice little soft fuzzy kind of look so i'm going to close and let me go into presentation view and now you see we have our column effect. We have our column effect. It nicely has a border here. You can actually adjust the color of that border, but I'm gonna stick with the, the white kind of grayish color. We have our reflection down here, which is a little bit fuzzy, so it gives it kind of a, a nice soft, soft feel, soft, soft look to it. And when we move this round, around, since it's a table and the images are within the table, we can move it around and it would adjust accordingly. The, the reflections would adjust accordingly and the images would adjust accordingly. So that's how we can create a, a simple column uh, or picture within a column or rectangle effect uh, pretty easily. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.